Okay, we're back. Um, we're going to start to build the door out of some splines uh, now, so uh, let's get started. The first thing I want to do here is to hide this. Let's just hide. Uh, hide that selection. Okay, let's uh, move over here. Pull that back a little. see the door here and then we'll pull this down and pull this out just a touch there we go and let's go to our uh, shapes tab as soon as my computer gets done thinking and we'll go to line now let's drag out a three point line right here Presenting the top of the door. Okay. Now, let's pull that up. Okay. And let's look at the vertices. Okay, let's pull this one up to the bottom of that trim. Let's pull this one down. Pull this one up. And over just a bit. Okay. Let's grab this, right click, turn it into a bezier. Let's use the rotate tool and just kind of shape that to a nice curvature there. Okay, when you're done with that, let's go back to line again. And we're going to do another line. Let's say, let's do four points right to here. Let's move that one into place as well. Let's get that right over there. And let's go back to our line vertex mode here. And let's start placing these lines where we know they're going to need to be. grab this point right here and let's convert that to a bezier corner because what we're going to need to do is be able to uh, get a nice a nice curve here so click on the X let's drag this up let's get that curve going let's go over here do the same thing whoop uh, undo let's click X here let's pull that up let's also scale that one curve there. Okay. And then let's go here into the side view and just a slight curve. And let's go here and make this one just a straight bezier. Okay. So let's go here and just kind of rotate this just a touch. Let's go here and let's kind of move this one out on X just a skosh. You'll be able to tell if you're, you know, how far off you are when you get the uh, the fender back in there, and then you'll have to match it up. So let's go back to line mode. Let's grab this first line. Let's go to attach. Attach that right there. Turn off attach. Go to vertex. Let's grab these two right here, and let's go fuse and weld. Okay. Same thing. Another line. And let's go about put the points in about the same spot as you did on the other side. So about yeah, maybe probably right here, and then right there. And then let's move that one into place as well. Okay. Now let's go to our vertex mode. Let's grab that vertice. Let's pull it out. And let's kind of match these up. Okay, so that one there. There you go. Okay. And then let's grab this. Same thing. This one's going to be a Bezier corner. And let's grab this. Stretch that out. Let's go in this window. Go here. Pull that up. Okay. Over here. 
light amount. Let's go here, just Bezier here. Okay, let's just rotate it in the left view slightly to get a good curve. Okay, let's go here. And let's go here. And let's go here. And let's just, again, just a slight curve. Just make sure it looks nice. Okay, let's grab these lines that we've already connected. And let's attach this one. And turn off attach. Go to vertex mode. Grab these two points. Do a fuse and weld. Great. While you're still in vertex mode, turn on connect and refine right here. And let's connect these two. Right click, refine. Let's connect these two. Right click, and again, these two, and again. And then this one, we're going to go here, and then just try to go straight down. Right click, there you go. Okay, so now let's zoom in to see that whole thing. Okay, we got a couple of more vertices to connect. We're going to go here. Fuse and weld, and here, fuse and weld. Okay, now let's put on a surface modifier. There you go. If they turn black, hit flip. Let's go up here to our material editor, put that blue on there. Let's right click, convert that to an editable poly, and let's go here, put on a turbo smooth. See how that looks. Hit F4. Let's just rotate around it. Make sure we don't have any gaping dents in it. Okay. Let's right click here. Oops, sorry. Let's right click here. Let's unhide all. Let's see what we've got so far. Okay. There's our fender, our hood. And here's the beginning of our door. And let's see how close we got it. Actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty close. We got a few points you can see here. Let me just zoom in. You can see here we have some uh, work to do to, to uh, you know, actually, it would be easier if I had Turbo Smooth on here. Let's turn that back on. And now let's rotate around. You can see that's pretty close. We got a little bit of a gap here we got to fix. But that's not too bad. So uh, we'll continue on in the next one and uh, continue. We'll have to finish the bottom of this door. As you can see here, we have uh, the bottom of the door to fix. So, let's go here. Let's click this. Turn off Turbo Smooth. Let's uh, hide that selection. Let's hide this selection. Let's grab the door. Turn off Turbo Smooth. Zoom extends all. Hit F4. Save your work. And we'll be right back.